All right, welcome to episode 17 of our class mission playthrough. Seeing how fast we can level with every experience perk and bonus applied that we can find. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get our timer rolling here. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, we are in a double experience event. And in that double experience event, we um, are stacking on top of that a whole bunch of different perks. So the first one we have is a set of armor that gives us a 50% XP boost. We have a consumable XP buff here, so that gives us a 25% boost. Then we have a guild perk that gives us a 15% boost. We have a guild ship perk that is going to give us a 7% boost, so it tacks a little bit on there. And then we have turned on the class mission and exploration 30% boosts in order to try to maximize those. Since we're only doing the class missions, we were hoping that that would really make a difference. And so we are on Voss, and we are level 66. So we have out-leveled the planets. So easy to keep up with planet leveling because the original game going through the original planets only took you to level 50. But what we were hoping to do is get all the way to 75, just using the essentially original planets. Um, at the pace we're going, especially here on the last couple of planets, it's looking unlikely, but we will see. Maybe there'll be some kind of a big experience jump that we're not thinking about. Um, I think Voss has five class stories and Corellia might have six if I looked it up correctly. Uh, we are getting 300,000 per 370,000 so we're probably up to 400,000 close. Um, so that's what, 400,000? That's still 4 million experience that we could potentially bring in. Will that be enough? I have to look up the XP charts and see. Uh, one thing I did notice is I could not find accurate and up-to-date charts of how much XP it takes per level. Um, so I created new ones, and I'll be sharing those with the community as soon as these videos start to go live. So if that's something you're interested in, um, I will either share the link in the description or if you follow uh, me on Twitter or Discord, I'll have the links posted there as well. So that way you can get to them. All right, I'm not sure. This is a pretty small base, so I'm not 100% sure if we're going to have enough guys to meet our bonus mission. So we will go ahead and take these out. Uh, we're at 12 now. Probably okay. But I want, want to make sure we are, like I said, I think coming up a little short on the 75 goal. Uh, we hit 50 a long time ago. Which, like I said, that's what the original planets were designed for. So can you level fast enough to keep up with the planets? Absolutely. I don't think you would even need the double experience boost. Uh, if I took a third of my levels away, so what are we at right now? 66. So that'd be 22. That would put us 50, 44. We would be right in the pocket of where we should be. So, okay, that ended the, the bonus experience. Yeah, 148,000. So yeah, I think you could actually do this even without a double experience weekend. Uh, I think it would definitely be possible. The double experience, or not weekend, but double experience event. Um, that just makes it even easier. So we'll take it. All right. Some more bags of experience. I wish those gave experience. They give conquest points um, and credits, but if those gave experiences, it would definitely help, but they do not. Now we did get the experience for meeting our conquest goals. Um, so that does give a good chunk of experience, but not each individual item. All right. 
believe that's an improvement, so we will grab that. We're not equipping the gear because if we break up this set bonus, then we would not get our experience. Okay, where are we heading off to? Okay, that is the outpost that's between the two. That's a pretty long run. I think it's actually be quicker to speeder that one. So let's go back out here. Unfortunately, running now, we might be able to save ourselves if the class mission is up in the temple there. Then we can quick travel up there. And I think that will actually gain us some speed. So. All right, let us grab a little shuttle. Welcome. And I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go. Okay, so while we're traveling, we will clean up our inventory a little bit. I mostly just sell off the gear. Uh, it's not anything that I'm keeping. Um, I do look for companion things that I can give to my companion to raise his level. Um, so Eric is up to 27 through conversations and giving him items and stuff like that. I did go ahead and buy up the bonuses that increase the percentage of those as well. So I think it's 10% for each one. So a 30% gain there as well. Okay. Well, I didn't quite get as far enough. So I guess we are hoofing it the rest of the way. But I still think saving this, if we have a mission up here, I know there's a planet story mission up here, but if we have a mission up there, having that quick travel up there will save us some time. Okay. If we look at the major map, uh, there's this area, uh, area on the right area to the south. I think the north area is all bonus mission stuff. Uh, so we'll be skipping all that as well. So we'll see how things go. Locate the smuggler's hideout. Cool. This is sometimes convenient. Um, kind of sucks if there is a bonus mission involved, but I don't think there will be here. So saves us a little bit of combat if we're trying to run through an area. Um, does deprive us of the XP though. All right. I think we did level. Let's check. Oh, where'd my hut go? Did he come back down? No, I think he's floating up there. So he did not make the ride with us. Okay. There are enemies in here. Let's kill, kill a couple just to check for, there is a bonus mission in here. So we will complete that. Five is not bad at all. And just to make sure we do it before we trigger anything, let's go ahead and get these guys down here. Cause I would not want to give up 150,000 XP for doing that. Was worth it. Okay. I wouldn't want to run in here. Oh, it's in a phase, so we probably would have been okay. But I wouldn't want to trigger the mission and then lose that. It does happen on occasion. Um, a mission leg might change over, and so you get a reward, and it breaks, breaks that. So, what do we got next? Heading farther in. All right. These should be pretty quick. Oh, he snuck in behind us. Wasn't the other guy back there? What did he do? The guy that gave us the mission did not support us very well. All right. You're free. I don't know if we're freeing them or not, to be honest. There was a force field involved. Uh, so unless you've played the story missions recently, it is easy to lose track of exactly what they're asking you to do. Uh, we do spend a lot of time just chasing the, the purple icons. So 
All right, return to the senator. Where are you, senator? She, senator, is back in the main base. All right, so that clears this side. I'm going to guess we go south next. I can't remember. I think we go down here next and then end up over there. Unfortunately, our uh, mission that we picked up to go up to the temple was not needed. Uh, there's a planet story mission up there that's pretty good. I couldn't remember if there was a class story mission up there or not. Also, I noticed we didn't trigger the the exploration for the city here. So we will go ahead and take like a wide turn. There we go. Don't know why that didn't trigger the first time, but again, 12,000 experience. So worth checking out. Let's see what the senator has to say. I'm sure it was very, very interesting. All right. Locate boss commandos. This is convenient. Okay, so we've got the savage connections down there, and I think that's going to help us very, very much. Because without that, we would have had to have... There's a travel point over to here, and then we had to run that entire thing. Now, you could argue that the downside is, you know, there's probably what, four or five areas between there, so it's 50,000 experience that we're giving up. But to get the mission done quicker, I think that's a fair trade. Um, the other downside is we didn't unlock the travel, quick travel point for, for that area either. And so that can be down the road. If we needed to come back, that could be an issue. But All right, where are we trying to get? I'm guessing there's an instance in there somewhere. Go ahead and take out one guy just to see. I doubt there's a bonus mission out here. If there is one, it probably will be inside. All right, so let's head back. Yep, there's our... There's our instance for our class mission. I'm sure there's going to be enemies in here. That's pretty quiet. All right. Yep. All right. There's at least a fight. Uh, we'll see if we trigger any bonus missions once we get through this. Yeah, there's some enemies up there, so. All right, so we'll fight our way in there. Uh, let's kill the easy ones first, because if it gives us a bonus mission, then we'll clear the area. But, oh, that was a misclick. Well, we'll see if any of it gives us a bonus mission. It's not looking like it. don't think we're going to be able to sneak by these guys. We'll see. Oh, nice. That surprised me. I thought we would pull aggro on that. All right, 392. Investigate the crash site, which is where? All right, so that is over in the that area. That's a pretty long run down there. The actual base is right in here. I honestly think it's going to be quickest to do a travel on that one. So let's go ahead and quick travel back. And then we'll take a shuttle over. All right, as we're doing the shuttle run, we will go ahead and do a little bit of data collection here. So there's the one that we didn't go to. Um, so we don't have a quick travel point to that. 
Okay, at the 15 minute mark, we are level 67. And we are looking at 1,117,567 experience. What's it taking per level right now? About 1.3 million per level. Like we did a rough calculation, we said we think we have about 4 million left. So that is, I'm thinking 70. If we hit level 70 by the end of Karelia, that may be the limit. So, we will wait until we get to that point. Uh, but in speculation mode, and just kind of thinking about it right now, it might be if you wanted to just hit 75 only doing this. Now, again, there's plenty of other things we could do. We could do heroics. We could do all kinds of stuff to get those levels. And that's actually fine. Um, but if you wanted, for whatever reason, you just wanted to say, you know what? No. I only want to do the class missions. You could spend some more time actually fighting. You know, I've been skipping a lot of combat, not really going out of my way to engage in combat. And that has cost us a lot of experience. So that could be a way to do it. Um, the other thing that I think would add a little bit of time, but not a ton would be instead of just doing the class missions, doing the class missions and the planet story missions. Um, they are usually located in very, very similar spots. And so you're going to be going there anyway and picking up that extra experience as you kind of worked your way through um, would make a huge difference. So if I was going to do another run through with the double experience and everything, that might be worth trying. Um, I did a test run on, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, that's survivable. Um, I think on Terrace. And I took about somewhere between 45 and 50 minutes doing the class missions and the story missions. Um, so I think that would be achievable. That'll probably kill me. So that could be another strategy um, that could be used in order to... Ooh, that's going to get me killed. Run away, run away. Oh, okay. That's where we're trying to get. I wonder what that glowy speeder was. All right, let's go ahead and heal ourselves up here. Okay, to finish that thought, though, uh, I think if you did all the class missions and the planet story missions, so just the purple ones, not all the side missions and stuff like that, uh, that would easily make a difference. So, Not eligible to enter, probably because we have to do this. And then now we can go in there. So um, in hindsight, looking back, that might be a better way to achieve this. Now, again... If you mixed in anything along the way, you know, like I said, if you just did the heroics, probably would be enough experience to push you up over the edge. Or if you PVP'd a little bit or did some flash points or whatever it happens to be. Uh, I think they would all be valid ways to gain that extra XP. So that is my... Before I analyze the information conclusion, but... That seems to be the where things are leaning. All right. Are we going deeper in or somewhere else? All right. So where is that at? That's actually pretty close to our base. So we'll quick travel back. I'll double check. Sometimes I've blasted out of an area too fast and forgot to click on something. So I think we're safe though. So your experience may vary a little bit, um, but like here, you know, there is a, a planet level story mission 
attached here as well. And for the most part, the developers have done a good job of basically grouping things together. Think of it like a, a giant theme park, right? You go to one area, you do all the attractions and everything that that area has to offer, and then you move on to the next area. Um, well, the quests kind of generate the same way. You know, you go to an area, all the quests are kind of bundled together in that area. Once you complete all those quests, then you move on to the next area. So um, you wouldn't actually lose a ton of time doing the quests. Um, and you'd lose very little, little time traveling to them because they'd essentially be right there. All right, so we've got a bonus here. I'm going to hope that... Okay, that's not an instance, so... So I hope that the... The base we're going into here actually has enough to to give us what we need. And it appears we're on the right track. Imperial Demolitionists, we're going to have to keep an eye out for. I'm going to guess that they are going to be the Silver or Gray Star guys. Uh, they have a special designation, and we don't have to do three of them. So. They're probably set aside uh, as a droid that's stronger all right well the 15 seems pretty straightforward i don't think we're having any problem with that uh, where do we need to go there is a lot of ground to cover so we're gonna skip what we can so like i said even here like i could fight my way all the way back through here and probably gain a lot of experience doing that but we are mostly trying just to see how fast we can get through. And then at the end, if we decide to continue on to 75, it's a kernel, kernel. Not seeing any demolitionists. Uh, we could find another way to to finish that leveling. So, all right. Well, we got those guys done. Okay, yeah, the demolitionists are farther in. So, let's see. Yeah, we don't want to fight that guy. Okay, we're gonna do the runaway mode. Well, if we can. All right, we'll hold the line out of that, and we're just gonna let Eric. Oh crap, we're not going to be able to go in the instance, I bet. Let's see. Let's see if we can get far enough away that it drops us out of combat. Come on, droid, give up. Give up. You don't want to fight us. Don't think I can get much farther away. Alright, I guess we're fighting the droid. Ah, uh, the best laid plans. Probably would have been quicker just to kill it in the first place and get the experience for it. So. 7,000 experience. So like I said, that's given up a lot of experience by not fighting things. All right, demolitionists. Which ones are you? There's one. There's one. Let's see if we can get these guys all to group up. Yeah, keep walking, keep walking. All right. Ouch, that hit hard. Let's get this guy taken care of. So he, ooh, that hurt. Oh, that saved us. All right, so I don't know if it's a secret, but one of the cool things about leveling, oh, it might not have saved us. Oh, I've still got Eric on passive. Holy cow, that was embarrassing. All right, so we were getting no healing, so... I was about to say, it's like, holy cow, have we gotten that weak because of our armor. But now, we forgot to turn our companion back on. And if you want to fight things, especially if you group them all up like that, it's probably a good idea to have a healer. All right. We almost pulled it off, though, even without Eric participating. So that makes me actually feel pretty decent in that. 
I think we're going to be able to get through the whole the whole planet run without even slotting our armor. Which you can argue is that a broken part of the game that you don't even have to upgrade your armor to get through it. Not sure. But it is what we're doing. All right. Let's see what we have to do next. We're using the keypad. What are these guys doing? Are they going to fight us? I guess so. Alright. Usually a good idea to try to get rid of as many of the ads as you can. And then we'll just burn down the boss. Again, I popped the shield less because I'm worried about the the damage reduction. But it does give us a a reflection. So it reflects damage back. So it's just like doing more damage to the boss. Alright. Yeah, if we survive that, I think we're okay from a gear standpoint. Alright, return to the Senator. We're going to assume back in the main city. Yep, and we are sitting pretty decent on time. If this is the end of Voss, yeah, we'll gain maybe another half level. That still puts us on pace for 70 by the end of Karelia. But I don't see 75. Oh, we might as well grab everything that we can. I don't think it's going to make a big difference, but nope, that was a horrible one. 353 experience. Um, so it's interesting. Sometimes it seems like the lore objects actually do scale with all the bonuses. Uh, you'll get some really good ones. Sometimes not. I don't know if you'd call that a bug, but it is definitely a discrepancy, depending on which ones you click on. But it's worth the shot. Alright, let's see what we have to do. Right. Yep, that's the end of Voss, so... All right, let's go ahead and go back to our ship. We'll do a little admin -y maintenance on cleaning up our inventory and everything before we push forward into the next section, which I think is another visit to Coruscant and then potentially wrapping up on Corellia. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back here. We'll repair our armor. I don't think there's anything up there we need to keep. So we will sell off all of this gear that we're not using. And go use our hollow terminal. Hello, Major. And we got a minute left. At right, 555, definitely an improvement. So we'll take that. Uh, while we have a minute left, let's go ahead and see how many of these conversations we can blow through. Oh, he must have left. He's back. Congratulations. All right. 42,000 for that one. Oh, let's get Alara while we're here. I'm not sure what just happened. She we might have triggered the the romance option chain going through that. She seemed very happy. All right. We are running out of time, but let's go ahead and 
Just for completeness, we'll finish up all the companion quests stories here. And then we will take a measure of where we're at as we kind of go into the last section of the playthrough. Uh, he must have been off on a mission as well. All right. Uh, well, Treek and HK don't have any more missions, so I was hoping they would, and that would give us a good chunk. So, All right, let's go ahead and pause the timer here. So both at the end of Voss and at the end of this episode, we are level 68, looking at 985,848 experience towards the next level. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope to see you in the next episode.